The following is a conversation between Matthias De Stefano, referred to as me, and his higher self, referred to as I am. The date is April 11th, 2021, and the subject is the emotional aspect of the crown chakra in the sign of Aries. Me. Tonight is the new moon in Aries. I wonder what it will bring. I am. New things, if you're willing to leave the old ones behind. Me. Am I ready? I am. That is the question I ask you. Only you have the answer. The energy of Aries is of initiator, and this moon is the right moment to initiate a new version of the self. So, to do this, you must let go of an old version of the self. Me. My old version of the self. What is it? I am. The one who doubts himself, for example. Me. Do I doubt myself? I am. All the time. What happened yesterday? Me. Well, yes, it's true. Even I doubt if I'm really sane or not. I am talking about the channelings. It hadn't happened to me in a long time, and I felt very strange, like being drunk. To what extent does that not take me out of my center? I am. You doubt something you should no longer doubt. Me. Why? I am. Yesterday, we answered all the basic questions of who you are, of what you are, and it's still not clear to you? Me. I am an option among thousands, through time and space. I am. Channeling is nothing more than opening yourself to all the possibilities of what you are. If you don't know how to control it, you become crazy. But if you control it completely, you become separate from the everything. Sanity is not shown by being Matthias. That is what you have been taught in human culture. The question is, who is Matthias, really? And what is the human effort of defending a sanity that is only imposed at a cultural level? Me. Do you mean that what we consider crazy or real is just a mere cultural perception? I am. That's right. From the point of view of culture, it is so crazy to think that there is a man above the clouds who watches everything you do, as to say that matter is nothing more than a set of atoms that ne have never touched each other and are held by magnetism. Both are unverifiable by the simple eyes of a human. Believing that you have to honor the spirits of the earth, like considering that you have to honor the institutions of a nation, is the same. And yet there are those who see one of both as crazy. Why it is crazy to philosophize, but it is intelligent to study philosophers? Me. Because culture gives more importance to scholars than to free thinkers. I am. Because free thinkers don't fit into the norms set by the culture. Why, it is sane to talk to God, but it is crazy to be able to listen to him. Why it is preferred the interrogant over the information, and the question over the answer. Me. I don't know. Maybe because the answer is limiting. I am. In what way? Me. When the question is asked, you're open to thousands of possibilities, but when you get the answer, there are no more questions. The search is over. I am. Or perhaps start a new search. But clinging to the idea of what it could have been, you refuse to take what you experience as a determining answer, since you want the answer to fit with your pattern of beliefs and expectations about the question. Question, pregunta in Spanish, is a word that comes from pre, meaning before, and cunctari, meaning to doubt, while in English it arises from the act of the object, a question, or quo chio. The translation of the concept is to position oneself before the doubt, to face it in a manifest way. Answer, uh, respuesta in Spanish, as its opposite, comes from re, meaning to return or again, and spondere, meaning to offer or to promise. In English, it means the same thing, but with the terms ante, meaning in front of, and swear, meaning to swear or promise, resulting and swear, and thus answer. The answer would be to face a promise again, to offer oneself again, 
The answer is the act of beginning the search again, to repositioning yourself in a new beginning, the promise of a new beginning. Who takes the answer as an end has not understood the meaning of life. Me. Oh, I understand better what it means. It is a constant. It is not finite. They gave me many answers yesterday, and they all opened new paths for me. But the old me still feels weird when channeling those who bring me the answers. It's like a feeling of losing the sanity, fearing that others may think I'm crazy or that I'm lying to them. I am. Why are you terrified that others think you're lying to them? Do you have something to hide? Me, no. In fact, I show all my realities too much. That is, if it were up to me, I would never channel in public because I get ashamed. I want to be an educator, not a spiritualist. Sometimes the old me feels that every time all the other options of the I appear, they just ruin his reputation. His capacity to create any real change, for being considered a schizophrenic. I am. If the answer is useful to you, what does it matter if it comes from a madman? Me. What? I am. The human mind overestimates sanity, thinking that something is useful only if it comes from a sane source. I wonder, what is someone sane? Why does the subject still matter more than the object? If a madman shouts a great truth, will it become a lie? Me, I don't think so. No, I am. So, what does the status of this person matter? The answers are not certainties; they are new beginnings. Remember, if you are lying in what you do, you do not lie in what you say. Even if your story was a hoax. Your responses have opened paths and changed lives. By their fruits, you will know them. Matthew, chapter seven, verse fifteen to twenty. Me, that phrase speaks of false prophets. I am, of those who say one thing and do another, of those who teach a truth but live a lie, of those who incoherently hide their true objectives and intentions. The fruits that a tree bears are according to the tree. If you have given good fruits, and in your words you sow coherence in the world, your tree can have the colors and shapes you want. Your tree can be a shelter to many other beings that may improve your message. Me, yesterday the dark being that I channeled spoke of the doubt, that this is the moment for the path to be cleansed of those who continue to believe in hell. Of those who continue to believe in the light, of those who continue in the fight or the doubt, those who seek answers only to enlighten or rejoice in their expectations, he said, "This is not the way." He meant in a certain way, "Don't get in the way." Every once in a while, they bring the darkness close, so that the task does not have the weight of judgment. However, they arouse judgment. I am, well, you can't know who lives in judgment until you give them something to judge, and that's when you can see who still lives in incoherence. Me, I still have judgments. I am. This is why this emotional week of Aries begins with the intention of cleaning up those judgments, that emotional fight with yourself. The universe does not ask you not to have judgment. It only shows you that judgment clouds your ability to see other options. Whoever judges closes himself to the particle that he is, remaining small before the cosmos. Me, the message that the teacher said yesterday was that they were carrying out a vibrational reconfiguration in us as a network. They said that from the beginning of the path with the I am until yesterday with the question, "Am I?" Ended a cycle that formed an idea, a thought, a synapsis in the network that we form, and that is interpreted as having made a new thread in the fabric. Having incorporated everything that we have worked on up until now, many things are unified, and we are already being prepared for the task that we must carry out. They say that the reason why they are worried 
is because from other worlds they are trying to generate that tissue too, but to connect it to ours, a millimetric precision is required, because finding the frequency of the entire Earth resonating in harmony is like finding a needle in a haystack, being that the haystack is the galaxy. And if we keep swinging like a pendulum between the idea of good and evil, between fighting and judging, they won't be able to connect to us. They say that we must open the crown of the world, and for this reason the planet has prepared for this, for the subconscious as well as the unconscious and the conscious, to have the word corona in their head, because of the coronavirus, COVID-19. So that the whole planet is thinking of the corona, both the North Pole and the South Pole. They spoke about the two eclipses that will take place at the North Pole on June 10th, 2021, and the eclipse at the South Pole on December 4th, 2021. They spoke of the Earth as Lady in Blue, reflecting in her mantle, which are the waters, the correct stars that ignite the Kundalini, the serpent, at your feet. They are preparing us, with their songs, the vibration, as technology to keep us all on the same page. But it is our task of the last 250 days, the guidelines that they are giving us to integrate and find the center. And at the end of the 360 days, we will have completed the circle of information to align ourselves with the I am. I am Beyond being an educational and informative path on philosophical concepts, those who know very well why they are here understand that a new response is being worked on every day, which is necessary to continue advancing in a mission, in reconnecting the network of thoughts and expand it to the entire galaxy. The first date is in the blue moon on August 22nd, 2021, halfway between one eclipse and the other. And the last one will be on February 22nd, 2022. There you will get more answers. Me, to continue. I am. The question is, will you continue to have more questions? Me, always. I am. I advise you to never stop doubting and having questions, and never stop getting answers. But I also advise you to never doubt yourself as the answer will always be you. Me, yes, I understand. To carry out this task, regardless of whether they believe me or not, I must be the one who believes in me. Because in me are all the answers. I put the intention in this new moon, in Aries, to stop doubting myself, to trust what I am, because every being that I channel is myself, and I should not be afraid of being so. I must trust what I created for myself, understanding the judgment as a cultural tradition and not as a personal attack. I must accept in myself that what I have come to do, I will do it in the best way that I can, and I will deliver it in the most appropriate way to my own coherence. I intend to expand my answers, to encourage the seek for more answers, because I offer myself in the promise that we are the world, we are the earth, I am the earth, and all the answers inhabit me. I am. The biological, emotional, and mental response mechanisms respond in the form of a reaction according to the level of consciousness and mental interpretation of reality. Therefore, you must be the answer you want to hear from the world. Me. Becoming the answer. I am. Because today the world responds in judgment and aggression, because the human vibrates in judgment and aggression, in separation and frustration, hatred, fight. So, this week we will work on these reaction responses, so that you can respond correctly to the world. Me, and be the answer. I am. So wisdom will live in you. I ask you then, who are you? Me, I am the answer.